Hey y'all, I'm Crystal, and welcome back to my Texas garden. You'll never believe what I was finally able to score. Now, if you're new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, in the last week, I have been super busy. I was finally able to score some herbicide-free hay. The farmer that I bought this hay from assured me that it had not been sprayed with any herbicides at all. I asked him over the phone three separate ways, three different ways, if the hay had been sprayed with herbicides, and he told me no. And then in person, I asked him two more times, and I explained to him that this is for my garden, I'm not feeding it to any livestock, and that I had herbicide poisoning last year, and I definitely didn't want a repeat this year. He assured me that the hay had not been sprayed at all, and he even said, this is my house you're picking this hay up from. If you have a problem with your garden, just come on back. And once I got the hay home and I started unrolling it and spreading it throughout the garden, I noticed weeds right there. And that just kind of lets me know that the hay probably wasn't sprayed at all. Also, I did soak the hay and it didn't have a chemical smell like the hay I had last year. So I'm pretty confident that my hay has not been sprayed and I am one happy girl. And the other really exciting thing that happened a few weeks back, I actually won a yard of garden soil from Crosby Dirt and Mulch. And because of all the rain, we couldn't pick it up right away. So we were able to go and pick it up this last week. And I got to meet and talk with Mr. Bob. Now, Mr. Bob owns Crosby Dirt and Mulch. And he actually mixes all of this garden soil himself. And it's a combination of uh, soil and mushroom compost that he picks up um, at the mushroom farm in Madisonville, along with some aged chicken manure. This is really, really good soil. I'm very, very excited about it. I'm using it in places in the garden that are pretty low, and we're just kind of taking our sweet time um, unloading it off the trailer. My husband would prefer if I'd rush it a little bit more, but you know, I don't rush much stuff. <laughs> So if you guys are local to the area, Crosby Dirt and Mulch, great little company. And you know me, I'm all about supporting the small businesses. So go check them out. Oh yeah, let me show you these really cool planters I got for the front porch from the Family Dollar. I'm so excited about them. Let me show you real quick. Here they are. They're big planters and the kitty cat was not included, but look at them. Look at this. They are absolutely gorgeous. That's the purple one, and I got a blue one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're walking back out to the garden. I wanted to also include in this video an update on the sweet potatoes. I'm so excited to share it with y'all. Here we go. Here are the sweet potatoes. Those itty bitty little sweet potato slips that I put out here a couple of months ago have exploded. They've branched out all over the place. I don't know if y'all know much about sweet potatoes, but they all bloom. And they're in the morning glory family, so their blooms really only last uh, during the morning hours. But I wanted to kind of show you these are just kind of, I've never grown the purple varieties before y'all, but these are just crazy with blooms. And in the morning, they're really quite lovely and the bees do love them. And they just, look at this, the amount of blooms, they're really, really pretty. The amount of blooms that this one little plant has. Here's a bunch more over here. See that? Just a ton of blooms, ton of blooms. 
so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but sweet potato leaves are actually edible. And they make a really good replacement green in the summertime. You know, greens here in Southeast Texas just don't grow very well at all. So we'll be experimenting with um, eating some of these leaves uh, this summer. Now I've had some questions about garden tours and my garden tours will start in August. And you're probably thinking, but you live in Southeast Texas, won't your garden be burnt up by then? That's the reason why I'm starting my garden tours in August. I want y'all to see that just because I live in a very hot, humid environment, you can still grow plants really successful all summer long. And for more great gardening videos, go ahead and click right here and I'll meet y'all over there. Oh.